Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We are you, you, your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Sweeties, Ultimate Niacin, Ultimate Selenium, Healthy Start Pack, they're all up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, we've got blog posts, videos, lots of good health information as well as the Longevity products, and a Join the Team Now link that you can click on at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. They're friendly and knowledgeable. They know all about the Longevity products, the Longevity business as well. For a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you benefited from the Longevity supplements, now you could pay it forward, help other people, change their lives, get off their meds, lose weight, whatever it is you're looking for, there's a good nutritional supplement program that can help. There's lots of things you have to do, but nutritional supplementation is a key, plays a key role in resolving all health challenges and helping the body renew and regenerate itself. It does it itself. It doesn't need to be medicalized, but it needs raw materials. The raw materials we call nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Call 866-735-2470. Sign up to join the Brightside Ben team today. And don't forget about our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. All our Truth Skin Health products are made without preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, just active and functional material. It's the jelly of the jelly donut. Why should you have to pay for things that your skin isn't using? Go to truthtreatments.com and check out all five of our truth treatment products, including our brand new Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking slime, we're talking mucus, good mucus, good slime. The combination of water and sugars, or long chain sugars, makes us kind of slimy material, and that we call that mucus. Mucus is basically just, mucus actually has a little bit of protein in it. Protein, it's basically pro, protein and sugar complexes. They used to call them mucopolysaccharides. That was, mucus is just a diminutive, a shortened version of mucopolysaccharides. Now they call them glucosaminoglycans, shortened for, as GAGs, G-A-Gs. You're going, start, you're going to start to hear about gags in skincare product. That's uh, poise. The gags are poised to be the latest, greatest ingredient in the world of skincare. But they've been around forever. They've been called mucopolysaccharides or mucus. Gags are basically mucus. The most uh, abundant gag in the body is something called chondroitin, which most people have heard of as part of arthritis supplements. Usually you'll see chondroitin with, uh, with uh, glucosamine chondroitin and glucosamine 
are usually found in arthritis supplements and are found together. Glucosamine is one of the sugars that's in chondroitin. So glucosamine is actually the active material and chondroitin is the whole GAG. And it has its own benefits independent of its chondroitin, see, or in, independent of its glucosamine. So they'll put the, they'll put the two together. And they don't just build gluco glucosamine, the sugar active in chondroitin, the GAG, mucopolysaccharide, or gl glycosaminoglycan, I should say. The uh, chondroitin and the glucosamine are not just for your joints. They're not just for arthritis. Because you got the chondroitin and you got the glucosamine everywhere in your body. Wherever you have connective tissue, pretty much, you're going to find these two things. And your body is upwards of 30% connective tissue. So using arthritis supplements, <clears throat> excuse me, using arthritis supplements, even if you don't have arthritis, is a great anti-aging strategy. Using our glucogel caps, Longevity's glucogel caps will support your heart health. It'll support your, the strength of your blood vessels. It will support bone health if you're dealing with osteoporosis. And best of all, it's anti-wrinkle. In fact, you can now get skincare products that have gluc glucosamine in them. Not that it'll do much if you put it topically, because it maybe absorb a little water. That's what glucosamine does. That's what these sugars do. So maybe you get some moisturizing out of it, but you're not going to get glucosamine benefits. That's one of the myths in skincare that skincare companies kind of leverage, that exploit. They take care of our lack of understanding. It seems like if something's in the skin and then you put it on top of your skin, you're going to get skin benefits. Oh, there's glucosamine in my skin. Well, I'll put glucosamine on my skin and it will help me somehow. No, it doesn't work that way. They do that with hyaluronic acid. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Oh, hyaluronic acid's in your skin, so we put it in our skincare products. It doesn't work that way. Just because something's in the skin doesn't mean you can just put it on top and then get the benefit of it. For years, people have been putting collagen on their skin, thinking they're helping their collagen. No, it doesn't work that way. Now, that's not to say that you can't get benefits from using this stuff topically. Collagen's a great moisturizer. So is glucosamine. So is hyaluronic acid. In fact, hyaluronic acid is arguably... The most fascinating molecule in the body. I think it's the most fascinating molecule in the body. It is. It's hard to describe how incredible this molecule is. For one thing, it's ridiculously electrical. We talked about this. We talked about hyaluronic acid a couple years ago on the bright side. It's time to revisit this absolutely mind-blowing supplement. Hyaluronic acid or substance. Hyaluronic acid. There's so many things to love about it. One of my favorite things about hyaluronic acid is it's piezoelectric. It generates an electrical charge when it's squished. Piezo means pressure. When you press on it, when you press on hyaluronic acid, it generates an electrical charge. And it also stores an electrical charge. And by being compressed and being relaxed and compressed and relaxed, you can sort of pump electricity into, into wherever hyaluronic acid is found. That's amazing. You get a little, it's basically an, a little electrical generator that releases and absorbs and releases and absorbs and releases and absorbs electrical energy at the tiniest of levels, the quantum levels. That's why it's found in the skin cell membrane. It's part of that whole electrical complex. The skin cell membrane is all that has all this electrical, electrical energy, it has an ability to process an electrical energy. It has a lot of electrical energy, but it's not just random electrical energy. It's information, in formation. It's in a shape. It's in a form. The electrical energy is in a form and in a formation that is uh, maintained by things like hyaluronic acid, as well as cholesterol and lecithin and the, the uh, whole cholesterol complex, as I call it, and essential fatty acids, etc. cetera. All, the, all these components work together to make the membrane an energy information processor, a computer chip. And hyaluronic acid is a key player in it. A key... There's more. Hyalur so much more to talk about with this hyaluronic acid stuff. In the world of skincare, hyaluronic acid is prized for its ability to trap water, hold on to water. Remember, that's what these, all of these things we're talking about are, are the polysaccharides and the GHGs and the mucus, etc., and the slime. All of these things, in large part, get their incredible health benefits or, or give us their incredible health benefits because of their ability to react with water, to hold on to water. And hyaluronic acid is no different. And this is why it's so prized in the world of skincare. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We got lines open for you. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. We're back. 
back on the bright side and we have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or anything we're speaking about here today or common or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470. So we are talking about hyaluronic acid, high aluronic acid. It's hard to say, but um, if you break it break it into little pieces, it makes it easier. High aluronic acid. In the world of skincare, high aluronic acid is prized as a water trapping substance, and that's indeed what high aluronic acid does in the body. That's uh, in addition to being piezoelectric, it's water trapping. It holds on to water, lots of water. A couple of drops of high aluronic acid will hold up to a gallon of water. Just It just swells. You can keep pouring the gallon slowly into your a little blob of high aluronic acid, and the high aluronic acid will, will just kind of swell until you get this, uh, this kind of watery jelly substance. It'll, it won't be a thick gel or anything, but you'll still have a, it'll so the, your water will have a certain substance to it as that high hyaluronic acid kind of grabs onto it. This is why it's in, uh, that's, this is why it's in the skin. Its role in the skin is to trap water on the surface of the skin, high hyaluronic acid, the very tippy, tippy, tippy top of the surface of the skin. Uh, the stratum corneum, there's a little high hyaluronic acid there and it traps water. And then as you go deeper, there's high hyaluronic acid in the lower levels of the skin where likewise it traps water. As we age, guess what? Our high hyaluronic acid shrivels up. That causes skin dryness, number one, and that can also cause uh, a thinning of the skin. In fact, you can actually get injections of high hyaluronic acid to plump the skin. And a lot of people do that. I say build your hyaluronic acid. There's lots of ways to do that. And don't do things that destroy your hyaluronic acid, especially cigarettes and sugar. At least reduce your intake of, of hyaluronic acid destroying substances. Drugs probably don't help. And I'm talking not just illegal drugs, but also prescription drugs. That's another thing about prescription drugs. You know, if you're on a bunch of prescription drugs and you're worried that your body's aging, that you're, that you're shriveling up, your connective tissue's deteriorating, that you're getting wrinkles, or your, your back is starting to hurt, or you're getting hernias, guess what? It could easily be the drugs, and it's not going to show up on the side effect profile either. Remember, when you take drugs, your body diverts precious building and anti-aging resources away from building the body to detoxifying the drugs. So the body breaks down with age, and one of the major ways it breaks down is our high, high aluronic acid dissolves, and it happens everywhere in the body. Oh, oh yeah. Hyaluronic acid isn't just structural, it's also conducting electricity. So that means we're now going to be conducting electricity less efficiently. So we'll be drier, we'll be more shriveled up, our bodies won't conduct electric electricity as efficiently, we'll be broken down. That's aging. And in many ways, it's, a, it's a, the, the, the sign or the manifestation of high aluronic acid deterioration. The eyes are another very important place where high hyaluronic acid plays a role. Remember, the eyes, obviously, the eyes are uh, super electrical. They're a transducing device. They're turning light energy into electrical energy. And so, of course, you're going to find electrical substances in the eye. And one of the most electrical substances is high hyaluronic acid. And guess what? The eyeball is largely made up of it. The eyeball uh, is, is a jelly substance. They call it the vitreous humor. That's a technical name. Vitrea, vitreous means glass. Humor means water. It's kind of a glassy, watery substance. They call it the vitreous humor. And a major component of this jelly, this vitreous humor, is high hyaluronic acid. There's also vitamin C in the vitreous humor. There's calcium in the vitreous humor, which is, by the way, very interesting. You don't hear about vitamin C in the vitreous humor, but if you're dealing with eye problems, vitamin C is an awesome supplement to use. There's protein in the vitreous humor. Vitreous humor is responsible for taking light from the front of the eye to the back of the eye. When light hits the eye, hits the lens, the, the surface of the eye, it's called a lens, goes through the lens and it has to go through this jelly, this ball of jelly, the vitreous humor, so it can get to the retina, so it can get to the optic nerve, so it can get to the brain. That vitreous humor, that high aluronic acid, is a bridge between uh, the lens that hits the light, the, the light that hits the lens, and the light that hits the back of the eye. 
That makes the vitreous humor really important. That makes high hyaluronic acid really important for your eyes, for eye health. See how important this stuff is. It's amazing. By the way, I have a new connective tissue, a connective tissue building supplement coming out. And it's going to have high hyaluronic acid in it because you can't build connective tissue or you can't have a connective tissue building supplement without high hyaluronic acid. It should be out here in the next four, four or five weeks. You'll definitely be hearing about it on this program. So uh, the vitreous humor made up of high hyaluronic acid. It is responsible for transmitting light from the front to the back to the, ultimately to the brain. From the back, the eye ultimately goes into the brain. As we age, the vitreous humor shrivels up because the hyaluronic acid shrivels up. Remember, hyaluronic acid shriveling or breakdown is a key, pl a key part of aging everywhere in the body, and that includes the eye. When we age and the vitreous humor starts to shrivel, something very interesting happens. The vitreous humor has, a lot of, it has all these protein fibers in it, and the protein fibers connect the vitreous humor to the retina, to the back of the eye. Well, as we age, that vitreous humor shrivels. As the hyaluronic acid breaks down, the vitreous humor isn't as moist and as soft as it should be. And it can kind of, it can kind of pull off from the retina, and those fibers can detach. And that, when those fibers break off of the retina, when the light comes through the eye, you're going to see those fibers. That's called a floater, a vitreous floater, they call it. There's millions of these microscopic fibers in the vitreous. These fibers give the vitreous uh, its structure, and they tie to the retina. The hyal hyaluronic acid breaks down as we get older, just like in the joints it breaks down as we get older, just like in the skin it breaks down as we get older, just like in the blood vessels it breaks down as we get older. So when the vitreous shrinks, it causes these fibers to break off. We see floaters. So if you're dealing with floaters, you probably got a problem with your hyaluronic acid. You probably got a breakdown of your connective tissue. Remember, hyaluronic acid is part of the connective tissue. Is that a surprise? People don't know what to do when they have floaters, and doctors don't know what to do when they have floaters. Build your connective tissue. Use hyaluronic acid. Floaters are a sign that your body is starting to deteriorate, that the body is starting to break down. The hyaluronic acid is breaking up. Hyaluronic acid is also a part of the cell membrane. We talked about the cell membrane as being mostly composed of fat. It's about 50% fat, and it's about 50% protein, but uh, part of that protein is high hyaluronic acid. High hyaluronic acid is like an honorary protein. It's not exactly a protein. It's a, it's a GAG, but it's always attached. It's always related or somehow associated with a protein in this extracellular matrix. So high hyaluronic acid is a, very, it, it is a, a key player in the protein component of cells. It has a major role to play in the protein component of cells. So it's part of the cell membrane, part of the protein part. It's part of the protein component of the cell membrane. Why do you suppose that is? Well, it's electrical. The cell membrane's electrical. Also keeps the cell hydrated as well. This stuff is amazingly important and you can get it at your local health food store. And there's also foods that you can eat that will help. And there's also ways that you can support or stimulate the production of hyaluronic acid. That's one of the most important of all anti-aging strategies, especially for the skin, is upregulating synthesis of HA, hyaluronic acid. All right, we'll take a commercial break. Come back with your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're back on the right side. Farms has been here, and we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on the archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com, and also brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can get all our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. And we do have lines open, 844-236-6010. From the Journal of Diabetes Complications, metformin, that's the, that's the uh, main drug for, that's the most uh, first-line therapy for dealing, with diabe for dealing with type 2 diabetes. Well, I don't know why anybody would rather take a prescription drug than change the way they eat. The two reasons why our blood sugar goes up are food and cortisol. And they're both related. Food and cortisol. That's it. Your blood sugar isn't going to go up unless you've got a cortisol issue and unless you've got a food issue. 
Over the course of time, we are, our insulin doesn't work as effectively, blood sugar stays high, that's a problem, obviously. And if you're not going to change the way you eat and, and ch uh, change your way you live your life, then maybe you do need metformin, but there's a price to be paid. Metformin, in this, uh, according to this article from the Journal of Diabetes Complications, metformin can cause vitamin B12 deficiency. 390 insulin-treated patients with type 2 diabetes were treated with metformin or placebo. Metformin significantly increased the, uh, uh, in increased the mean serum concentration of one of the byproducts of a breakdown in vitamin B12, indicating higher breakdown of vitamin B12. So bottom line is, is when you use drugs, you run into nutritional deficiencies. I've been saying this for years. Nobody ever talks about this. So ask your doctor about this. Doctor, isn't my metformin going to cause nutri nutrient deficiency? He may not know it's vitamin B12 deficiency, but just common sense will tell you. Your body now has to divert its nutritional resources to detoxification. What would you rather do? Detox your, detox your uh, body of drugs or build collagen or fight wrinkles or have stronger bones? I mean, really, when you think about it that way, it's kind of a no-brainer. The association between vitamin B12 deficiency and se uh, severity of polyneuropathy suggests that polyneuropathy is, is, is basically pain in the nerves everywhere, suggests that metformin-induced vitamin B12 deficiency can increase the severity of diabetic neuropathy. That means if you're on metformin and you have neuropathy, there's a good chance it's because you're deficient in vitamin B12. So if you are on metformin or any prescription drug, it's extra important that you start yourself on a nutritional supplement program like the Healthy Start Pack. The more drugs you're taking, the more nutrients you need. All right, we'll do one more and then we'll get your calls. 844-236-6010. This is from the Journal of the American Heart Association. High dose multivitamins and minerals effective for heart patients. How do you like that? Some 1,708 patients aged 50 or older who had a myocardial infarction, heart attack, at least six, uh, at least six weeks previously were randomly uh, assigned to receive either a placebo or a multivitamin. Well, guess what they found? The benefits of this multivitamin mineral supplement are similar to those reported in randomized controls of other drugs. Vitamins and minerals can be used as an effective treatment for, for pain as a conclusion. Vitamins and minerals can be used as effective treatment for patients, uh, uh, for heart disease patients, patients who've had heart attacks. That's from the Journal of, uh, Journal of the American Heart Association, April 2018, last month. If you're not on a nutritional supplement program, folks, you are completely missing the boat. If you, it's too complicated to, to get on a nutritional supplement program, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. It's a no-brainer. If you don't want to do that, then at least go to the health food store and get yourself on a supplement program. Weave it together. You can, you can cobble it together by yourself. It's just more complicated and probably more expensive, but you could do it that way. There's nothing wrong with that. The Healthy Start Pack makes it much easier. Especially the health, and if you have a heart problem, the, the uh, healthy brain, uh, heart, and, heart and body pack, I think they call it, with has, which has extra selenium. And then throw in some glucosamine and some Fucoid Z while you're at it. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. We've got lines open for you. Let's go to John in Kansas. Good morning, John. Good morning. Hey, uh, my wife and I are uh, health educators. We teach a class monthly in the... Uh, Salina, Kansas, and we use a lot of your material. Nice. Um, we, we've had questions about how reliable are the nutrition fact labels that we see on packages. You know, you, yeah, they're as reliable as, as you can get. I, there's no way to know. I mean, if companies are fudging it or, or dis being dishonest about it, there's no real way to know. Um, well, but even, uh, even like yeah. uh, chia seeds or, you know, stuff you grind up for fiber and uh, you know, there's no real there's no real way to know any nutritional value of any food because how a food is grown, where a food is grown, is going to pl play a huge part in how how much nutritional value. And this is for like things like chia seeds, like you're talking about, how, where a food is grown is going to have a huge impact on the on the food's nutritional value. So when you read about the nutritional value of unprocessed foods, vegetables and nuts and seeds, etc., um, there those are approximations because you don't really know where your chia seeds were grown. A food a plant is only as good a food 
food is only as good as the soil that it was grown in. Now, if you have if you have uh, processed foods, those are going to be those are going to be more exact. The processed foods, but the problem, of course, with the processed foods is you can't get well-rounded nutrition from processed foods. So my my advice: stick to the stick to the healthy foods, supplement your diet, stick to the unprocessed foods as much as possible, and then um, and then supplement your diet. Does that help? Well, that's that's a great. Yeah, what he does, it sort of confirms what you know, we already have been telling people. It's just nice to hear it uh, from that perspective. Another thing that uh, we've been doing to uh, reverse aging. A lot of the physical things uh, seem to have a pretty good handle on that, reversing and preventing. Give me some uh, examples. Like, what do you mean? By, like moving your body? Uh, moving body, uh, 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 rebounder, Great. Uh, walking. Awesome. Um, Did you hear me talking about the Zeta potential, the whole electrical energy thing? The, the body turns... That. Gonna, say that again? Okay. It's going to be in our next class and at the end of, the, of May. Good. Uh, we're gonna be That's awesome. That's awesome. Lifestyle. That's awesome. Perfect yeah. for it. Yeah, the mechanical energy, the body is a, the the body converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. So anything you do, like you say, physically getting on a rebounder, walk, even just walking the dog, you know, anything you do to move your body around. So, so this, they used to say, or they still say, uh, sedentary lifestyle is the new smoking, and that's what that's about. The body turns down its electrical energy when you're sedentary. So, All right. Um, Go ahead. Assuming we have uh, uh, succeeded in uh, extending our life, we go into longevity. What are some of the emotional uh -huh. factors that we have to consider that, that we're great. Gonna, that Everybody else is going to die. Every, all your friends are going to get sick and die, and you're going to be exactly. you're going to still be around. <laughs> you know, that's the, you, you talk to older folks who are still healthy in their 80s and 90s. They miss their friends. You know, so get healthy for your friends. Get healthy for your family. If not for you, for your friends and your family. So for I don't that, know. For the elders. Do you grow old? Uh, what are some techniques that you would use or recommend for get spiritual? Uh, get spiritual. As you get older, it becomes more and more important to get spiritual, to make peace with your mortality, and to see and to notice the higher, the other things in life, not just the physical part of life, but the spiritual aspects of life. As we get older, it becomes more and more important. John, I gotta, I'm going to let you go here. I got a bunch more calls I want to get to. Thank you so much. I appreciate your kind words. I appreciate your call. Take care, bro. You're welcome. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll take a commercial break and more of your phone calls. And got lines open, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. And let's say good morning to Melody in California. What's up, Melody? Hi, Ben. Hey. Hello. So I, I have a question. Um, yes. I've been eating really cleanly for the last, like, several months, like, really clean. You know, no, no refined sugar, the green smoothies with the bone broth, all of that yeah. stuff, all the nutrients, all the longevity stuff. But I can tell I'm not, like, absorbing what, okay. you know, what I should be. For all the stuff I'm putting in, I'm not getting the benefits, I guess. Okay. Okay. Because I can tell, like my nails, for example, I used to have like really, you know, strong nails. And I've got the ridges. That's so a I know great sign. Not, That's not. a great sign right there. Yeah. How, so how old are you? I do. How do? How old uh, are you? Fifty-five. Okay. So first of all, the idea of eating cleanly, get that out of your head. There's no such thing. Okay. There's eating cleanly for you. Okay. So you got to go by you. Mm -hmm. Got to go by your symptoms. Okay. So there, when we, and I, and I'm not picking on you or anything, but I, people tell me this all the time. I eat really well, I eat cleanly, but I got symptoms. If you have symptoms, you want to focus on food and forget about the eating cleanly part. Because when we say eating cleanly, we mean according to the internet or according to Dr. Oz or according to the mainstream, according to orthodoxy, according to what we're told. It doesn't work that way. It works with, with your specific body. Okay. That's first of all. Okay. Second of all. I love how you checked your nails out. That's the key right there is your fingernails. You want to make sure your fingernails are strong and they're, and they're pink and they just look really good. If you got ridges, if you got thinning, if you got brittle, that's a sign. Typically means exactly what you said, malabsorption. So what you want to do is you want to start working on helping your body 
absorb and process food. And there's two levels of absorption. One is levels of absorption from the intestine into the blood, and then there's from the blood into the cells. So we're going to work on, first and foremost, intestine into the blood. If it doesn't get into the blood, it doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. So what you got to do, first of all, is you want to process your food, like uh, grind your food up and use soups and juices and smoothies. Try to get as much of your nutrients from smoothies. I don't know what you mean by green smoothie. That's kind of a vague term, but if it's a, like a prepackaged kind of deal, start playing around with no, that. It's, I I use a Vitamix with uh, I put some water and I put in a whole ton of mixed greens and all of that stuff and like I, fresh like vegetables, oil. fresh vegetables. Yeah, like fresh oh, that's greens. awesome. Yeah, awesome, all awesome, awesome. Stuff. That's and awesome. The bone broth all goes in there. Awesome. So oh, in the bone broth, you put the bone broth in there too. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Effects. Are you having any loose stools or diarrhea or anything like that? No. No. Okay. So then I, here's what. I'm really let's good. Get, so I'm, let's I get feel you. really good. It feels like really, I feel like very satiated. I don't feel like my it's tummy grumbling. I just feel good. Stuff. good. I feel all good energy. stuff. Throw. Do you take enzymes with it? Yes. Okay, but take that's your, the question. How much do I need to take maybe to no, increase? I started There's no way the to know. Box. There's no way okay. to know. You've got to do what's called functional dosing, where you look for symptoms improving or look for how you feel and be sensitive to that. There's no way to know. And different brands are going to have different amounts. But really, I start off with four or five enzymes a meal, or the ultimate enzymes, that is, and then work my way up. Okay. That's what I would do if I were you. And then use apple cider vinegar, okay. apple cider vinegar, okay. and then do bitters. Anything that's bitter, dandelion greens are good, horseradish, something bitter before you, or Swedish bitters you can get at the, at the health food store. Um, anything bitter before you do your meals, whatever they are, even liquids, <clears throat> excuse me, will increase, stum- will stimulate stomach juices. So that's something else, something else that you can try. The nail thing, that kind of troubles me though. If you have ridges, it, it, if you notice that you were starting to gain weight at all? No. No, no I'm same, the same weight? Same way? Yep. Yeah, the ridges yep. are definitely a sign. So no matter which, what's going on there, you've got to look for other symptoms because you're not getting, we're not getting other symptoms here. We're getting the end result, which is the nails, but I don't hear any other symptoms going on. You know, if you're, if you're di- it may be that you're not noticing them. The, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? The, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. nails are smoke. That means there's a fire somewhere. You've got to find where that fire is. If everything's working perfectly but you've got problems with your nails, you're missing the fire. Because that's smoke. You can't have smoke without a fire. Does that make sense? Okay. So yeah. you've got to become more attuned to your symptoms because the nails are definitely smoke. That's a major sign of smoke. That means you definitely have you a know, fire. What, yeah? is it, what is it usually? I, I went it could be thyroid. It, it could be your thyroid. thyroid. Yeah. Thyroid. Well, I was tested for that. And I but it doesn't matter, that. testing. Um, you're the test. Thyroidism. Melody, sweetheart, you're the test. Okay. You're the test. Thyroid testing is not only notoriously ineffective, it's borderline evil for a doctor to use it, in my opinion. And you know how many people are symptomatic and they go to the doctor and the doctor says you have no problem? I, I, you know, I'm, using, I'm exaggerating. I don't want to say evil, but it's just mean, okay? If you're symptomatic, mm-hmm. you go to the doctor and he tells you, oh, we checked your thyroid, you're fine. I don't know how that guy sleeps at night. Obviously, you're not. So I'm not saying you. I'm just, I'm just talking about generally speaking mm-hmm. about thyroid, thyroid health. That's a, that's a classic sign of hypothyroidism. It's also a sign, uh, a potential sign of um, mineral deficiency, either <clears throat> at the level of absorption or at the level of uh, uh, intake. Now, it sounds like you're intaking, but I don't know, you know, I don't know exactly what your mineral thing is, what you're intaking. Um, you know, just based on the green juices, you never know what's in the, in the green juices. You might want to add some minerals, particularly zinc, calcium. Uh, but all the minerals, magnesium, copper, all of these are involved in nails, in, in making your nails nice and strong. But I would be looking at hypothyroidism. I'd be looking at mineral deficiencies, and I'd be looking at problems of absorption. But all of this is moot. It doesn't really matter until you find some other symptoms in your body. So your job is to find some stuff going on in your body because nails are just one thing. Okay, if your, height's, your weight's good and you have no digestive problems, it's hard to help you just by your, just, if I just know about the nails. All right, I wanna, does that help you, Melody? Yes. Okay. You, okay. But you, you said you were going to tell me about uh, levels from your intestine to the blood, and then the second level. Yeah, was the second level. Blood si- blood yeah, but you're. Yeah, that's not. I don't know that that's your issue at this point because I don't ha- hear any other symptoms. No. That would be a sign. That would be a sign. You'd have things like heart problems, maybe kidney problems. You'd have sticky blood issues, and I don't hear any other symptoms. So it's hard for me to tell you what to do. You think. Just start paying attention. Start noticing. Start looking for things like uh, fatigue or skin problems or bowel problems that have gone under the radar or anything. anything. You've got to find some, and then we can start to work. Okay? 
You gotta, okay. have, you gotta co right. collect the dots before you can connect the dots. Thank you for your call, right. Melody. Well, thank have a, you. Have a thank great day. You. Okay, bye bye. Always gotta have symptoms. Look for symptoms. Look, 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 look for symptoms when you want when you want to uh, change a, sp a specific part of your body, like your nails or your skin. All right, well, let's see. Uh, let's go to Dennis in Utah. Good morning, Dennis. How you doing? Good morning, Ben. First, I want to thank you for everything you do. Thank you, Dennis. We listen to you almost every day. My wife and I, we're retired. I appreciate we that. Ranch. We live on a ranch. We raise most of our food. Nice. We know where from and where it's grown. Where every in day, Utah? I'm... Where are you in Utah? Central Utah in the Severe Valley. Oh, that's beautiful. Not beautiful country. Yep. The other day, I was moving some hay in for the livestock, and after I was done, I was kind of cleaning up around the haystack. All of a sudden, I started getting some white flashes in the left side of my left eye. Uh-oh. That's a sign of a detaching retina. Absolutely. Absolutely. How old are you, Dennis? 67. Any blood sugar issues or anything like that? Any medication? Anything like going on? Well, I'm on no medication at all. Just uh, supplement uh, according to your protocol. Okay, you got to build your connective tissue. Your body's breaking down. The retina, when the retina detaches, it's like the retina is on top of a bunch of layers. And when the retina pulls off, um, when ret that connection gets weak, the, the retina layer from the bottom layers, the retina will pull off. And that's what a detached retina is. And it's a sign that the body's starting to break down. And it's, it's off. Are, are, can, you can see still? Let me finish. Oh, yeah. Let me finish my symptoms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yesterday, it was a little better. Just this morning, it's a little better. I just got some real slight flashes. I do have a floater in that eye. Okay. Um, according to what information that I've come up with, it, 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 it's just going to be a tear in the retina, and it will repair itself. But I want to know how to increase my intake for production of hyaluronic acid. First of all, you should definitely start taking hyaluronic acid. I'd be doing like three or 400 milligrams a day. You should get it today. Don't waste any time with that. Um, and then anything that you do to build connective tissue. Vitamin C is very important for helping your body make connective tissue. Aloe vera. Um, the Fucoid Z from Longevity, all the polysaccharides that we talked about will upregulate hyaluronic acid. Uh, anything that's good for, for arthritis will help upregulate hyaluronic acid. So the glucogel caps, bone broth, bone broth protein. Don't forget your essential fatty acids. Those are also very important for building connective tissue. Everything we've been talking about for the last few years, basically, building connective tissue. That's what this is all about. When that tear happens, that's a sign that the hyaluronic acid and the connective tissue are starting to break down. Good luck with everything. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. And thanks for your kind words. And uh, that's all the time we yeah, that's all the time we have for today. On the bright side, thanks for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for our Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and now our new Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist, all available at truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. And we'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.